Hello and welcome to web programming lab exercises. So in this session we are trying to understand the term work one wherein we try to create multi column article using HTML tags and we also integrate social sharing so basically in this term work we are trying to create a multi column article that is nothing but a paragraph of information that is being divided into number of columns using html tags and various css properties and we will also integrate some social media icons or social sharing icons and on tracking them redirecting to those specific URLs okay let us go ahead and see how this can be done okay. so this is a brackets editor where we have written the code for this so the first line here indicates the doc type HTML which is nothing but the document type is of type HTML and after that we have written the HTML tag and then we have the head section wherein we write the CSS rules within the style tag okay so we have written various CSS rules here so we'll come back to them once we understand what we have as part of the HTML body okay. so in the body section we have written a sample paragraph where we have specified some messages and after that we have a division with a class called as newspaper and in that we have written an h1 and after that we have written a paragraph of information and we have continued to do so okay and ultimately we have closed the division and later after this we have written one more division with an id called as share buttons and we have written uh, the social sharing icons with the help of anchor tag along with the help of image tag okay so we have specified the urls of various social sharing icons with the help of href attribute so in this way we have added a lot of social sharing icons here so we'll understand all of these once we see the output so now let us go back to the head section where we have written the css rules yeah so here it is so in the css rules we need to specify the selector that is nothing but the targeted html element and then after that we have to specify the property value pairs which will indicate the CSS styling for that HTML element. Okay. So here we have written the selector to be equal to dot newspaper which indicates we are trying to target the HTML element with a class called as newspaper. Okay. So after that we have curly brace and then we have written the property value pairs. So the first three set of lines indicate that the total number of columns that we would like to have in our article. So here we have specified it to be equal to 4. Okay. So the first line indicates the column count for Chrome, Safari and Opera browsers. And the second line indicates the column count for the Firefox. Then in general the column count is 4 for any of the other set of browsers. On the similar lines, we have also specified the width for the column that we are creating in the next three set of lines of code. Okay, so we are setting up the column width to be equal to 100 pixels. Okay, and then in the consecutive three set of lines, we have written the column gap, the gap between each column, and we have specified it to be equal to 40 pixels. Okay. Subsequently, we have written next three set of lines which indicates the color of the 
column that we would like to create. Okay, so hash 9c9 indicates a lighter green color. Okay, and this is how we can apply a color to the column. And next set of three lines indicates the style for that column that we are creating. So we are setting up that style to be equal to solid. And then the next set of three lines indicate the width of that column rule and we are setting it to be equal to 20 pixels. Okay. And then we have written this column fill auto which indicates that the entire paragraph of information that we have written is going to be equally split up into the total number of columns that we are creating here. So it is going to be automatically filled up into the set of columns. And then we are setting up the height of the column to be equal to 400 pixels. And then we are specifying the CSS rule for H1 as well. So we are making the H1 to be spanning across all the columns that we are creating here using this column count. And then after this, we are trying to target one more uh, HTML element using this ID called as share buttons. And after targeting this, we are trying to explicitly target the IMG tag, that is image tag. To this IMG tag, we are applying the next set of uh, CSS property, that is width to be equal to 35 pixels. And we are specifying the padding to be equal to 5 pixels. And we are setting the border to be equal to 0 as well as box shadow also to be equal to 0. And we are making all of these social sharing icons that is images to be displayed in a single line. That is why we have written this display in line. Okay. So this is how we specify the various uh, CSS properties through which we can create multi-column article as well as the social sharing icons. So let us run this file. So it will be redirected to the browser. Yes. So this is how the output looks like. Okay. So we have the heading here, and after that, uh, the entire set of information that we have written in the division is split up into four columns, and then the height of this column is 400 pixels, and then the width, column gap, everything that we have discussed is working out here and the color of this column is lighter green. Okay. And below of this multi-column article, we have social sharing icons such as Link, Mail, Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, Pinterest and so on. So once we click on these uh, icons, it will be redirected to the specific URL like this. Okay, so in this way we can go to any of the social media platforms by clicking on these icons. Okay, so this is a multi-column article as well as social sharing features can be added up into the 